Right, oh. Um, this is uh, the computer on my machine now, permanently on my machine, built into my machine. And on this computer, I have Atcam Dual Smith 9.1. It's a very good tool to use. I'm actually machining uh, the slot in the top of here so I can get a tool in to um, to be able to uh, to do the little uh, flexible coupling up and get at the you know the retainers uh, that attach it to the end plate as well. So I'll just give this a quick measure. Okay, so to machine that little slot, um, I'm using Atcam Jewel Smith. So this is uh, probably a, a, a 2008 version which I've had since then um, and it's a very good version a very very handy one to have and it works with XP and this, com this uh, computer running this machine is an XP uh, and there's nothing wrong with that either okay so I'm going to start a new job so create new model um, 75 oh. okay so 70 by 75 millimeter and we press got it set on millimeters and we're going to press OK expand it and expand this and make it a bit bigger so I'm going to show you a couple of interesting little things with this and this is available on all the ATCAM products even the the new ones and also um, Aspire also has this so what we're going to do, uh, we've got the zero, zero set in the middle, which is fine. And I'm going to draw some marker lines. So you just, you, know, you, you just grab a, a line out on the, the ruler then, and you can place those marker lines for you. If I can get it right there. And then you can go up here, um, 15 mil down, okay so that gives me a boundary to work inside that area. So what I'm going to do is very very quickly is come over here to choose a tool the flyout box and I want a circle and I want to go here and I want to say that this is um, let me say down to 20 millimeter I want twenty millimeter and I want this in the t 10. Oops. I want it right there on, on the 10. So I'm using two things here. I'm using guidelines and I'm also using the rulers. So I want to preview that. And that's correct. That's exactly where we want it. So we want to create and close, deselect that, so then select we want another one down here, and the same we want that at 10 millimeters, so it's minus 10 millimeters because it's below the zero, so it's uh, minus 10, and this needs to be 20, and we want to preview, looks okay, create, and close, deselect, so we're going to zoom into this now, 
maybe not quite so big. And then we're going to select a line. Well, that one. I want to go from there. Actually, we're going to undo that. I just noticed that they're not quite where I want them to be, I don't think. Well, that lines. We can get rid of those lines, actually. So just, um, these can go back out the way now. Very simply, we got rid of. So we want to attach this line to the point there and to that point there and then right click to end that so we want to do it again over this side midpoint I have snap turned on so that's why it's actually snap into the circle and snap there right click so then we need to clip the vectors any line or mark on this screen is a vector so we come to the scissors tool and we just snip away okay but this isn't complete yet so what we're going to do is we're going to select all of them like that and we are going to group the vectors so now that is one vector. So it's gone blue. So that's one vector. So you click any part of it and all comes up. So now we're going to machine that. So come down here to tool paths and it's a 2D profile inside. Let me just see what tool I'm going to use. Oh, I, I use my 8mm, it's in there, it's ready to go. Um, so you're going to see me make a... I don't think I've made one in this list, but we'll find out in a minute. Um, let me see, that's 5 to 6. I'm going to go through 6mm, although the wall thickness is... And what we're doing is we're going to punch a hole through the top of this and we're going to cut this shape in the top of there. And I know that wall thickness is 5 millimeters, so I'm going to say 6 millimeters because I want to go all the way through. Um, 6.0. So this, by the way, this is uh, what's commonly known as a wizard or a dialog box. It corresponds with you. Um, machine safe, 5 millimeter, that's fine. Profiling tool, select the profiling tool. Oh, it is there, eight millimeters. In other videos, I, I have actually showed you how to put a new tool, if it doesn't exist in, in here, uh, into Outcam. So I'm going to select that, and now we're going to set this up for this machine. So I'll step over. We're not actually going to step over anything but I'm just going to put it down as one millimeter uh, step down and we're going to step down one millimeter at a time uh, actually 1.25 at a time 20 millimeters a little fast for this little mill <laughs> so we're going to go 10 millimeters and four millimeters there. I mean, I won't be running this at 100%. I will be running this uh, about 30% of that to begin with anyway. Ramp moves definitely. You don't plunge straight into a, a job. So uh, ramp angle 10 degrees is fine. Maximum ramp length five millimeter. That's well, make 
Yeah, that's okay. Um, minimum rank, well, we're going to make that five as well, because we want it to do five millimeter. We want it to travel at least five millimeter. So the height is one millimeter, that's okay. In other words, we're going to start off the ramp in. It's going to come from five millimeter down to one millimeter, then start ramping in. That's what this means. Um, leave it also, leave this as automa uh, automatic. It's not going to make any difference to us. Set up material, and in our case, this is. We're going to say it's six millimeter, even though we know it's five. Okay. Coming down to here, name the tool path. Well, we can name it anything at all as long as we know what it is, just to identify it on my desktop. Aha! So that presents us with a small problem. What it's telling us is a couple of the vectors here and as they seem So let's go back to this and we will... Okay, so what we need to do is highlight our vectors and come down to here, although it's grayed out, this one is weld vectors or join vectors with a coincident straight line or curve. And we want to raise this number up for a start to two millimeters and join close so it's as simple as that we've just joined that now and we can group vectors there you go and now that's fixed. So that's how to repair vectors. Uh, very simply. And now we are going to do our toolpath. Inside, six millimeter. Profiling tool, eight millimeter. Select it. Change this one first to one millimeter. Change this one to 1.25. This one to 2. Oh, we'll go 10. This one to 4. 5,000 RPM is the maximum this little mill will go. RPM. Right moves. You should remember. Yeah. Okay. Calculate now. And there you go. So that is done. So now we can save that. Save that tool path. G card. We want to save that to desktop. It is there. And so we're going to call it something. So it's so we can recognize it. Save. Get out of that one. And we've no need to save that because there it is. So now we can start up Mark 3. Oh. Okay. 
and load it straight into Mac 3. Load G code from desktop. There it is there. And there's the representation. So let's now set the machine up. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons. Uh, without their help, you know, I couldn't uh, possibly um, work at this level that I am or maintain it. Uh, so, again, patrons, thank you very much. Um, and I'd like also to thank you viewers for uh, watching my videos. And um, don't forget, press like, subscribe to my channel. And, uh, you know, there's over 350 uh, videos now on both my channels. So I think we'll, we'll leave this one here. And uh, the next one then will be finish, finishing off this uh, X axes and then, you know, putting the standoffs on and you know if I can get it in the same video we'll build this end up as well so uh, thank you for joining me and it's bye for now